Welcome back to Kingdom Hearts 2. We have good songs now. Thank God, because Hell Dragon don't feel good no more. <laughs> Went slightly insane, just off camera as it were. Uh, anyway, we gotta cheer up Ariel for some reason in a job that I don't recall signing up for. Well, she's pining for a guy that's all human, and she's only half fish. Yeah, I think we've already covered this issue in Futurama, guys. Come on. <laughs> just go over Manatee, you'll be fine. I get Manatee? Where did that come from? Also in Futurama, you absent-minded douche. I have an idea, Sebastian. How about I blink more often? <laughs> well, he is a fish, Haldragon. You can't expect too much. I guess, but his eyes are so weirdly dilated that it looks really creepy, and I don't know why they didn't bother with that model. You focus on the most banal things. They're breathing under the sea, for Christ's sake. Well, I want some consistency in my talking fish, alright, Tom? Do you see any girls on Sora? No, you do not. Well, what if they were on uh, alongside a ribcage? I've seen things like that. <sighs> you can find gills there. Yeah, alright then. I'm just saying, you know. <laughs> Need a Zora mask to explore this place properly. That's true. If we had that, that might actually make this a bit more cool. No, humping the rock's not gonna do anything. Oh, oh well, thanks for contributing, Goofy. You really <laughs> helped. Uh, would have been better if he just tried to prop it up with his shell. Anyway, the thing about this world is that you need abilities that you get throughout the game in order to progress through it. If you have it or you don't have it, they'll still kick you out, which is annoying. You know, instead of just activating the cutscene. Uh, you have to go in like four or five times, just like four or five times more than I want to be here, trust me. True, true. And, uh, I mean, this is the only time we're going to use Magnet anyway. I mean, who cares about Magnet? Does he, do you use Magnet outside of, you know, this place? Just fire, really. You know, a magnet, reflect, nobody uses that shit. Well, except for boss fights like Sephiroth and Zelda. Okay, well, yeah, that's like two uses of reflect, but other than that, it's worthless. <laughs> well, it helped me defeat the final boss of Earth by Sleep. Oh, well, good for you, mister. I have Earth <laughs> by Sleep, and you don't. Ah! <laughs> that's exactly how I sound. Yeah, that is exactly how you sound, I'm pretty sure of it. Ariel, why don't you stand right there so I can hit you with this statue I found? I mean, we have a present. <laughs> Stuff it full of explosives, launch it at a statue missile. See, obviously Sora doesn't know how to knock over women and take their purses. That's not very nice, Hell Dragon. Well, Sora isn't a very nice guy, Tom. I merely report it as I see it. He is a bit of a douche to nobodies. Yeah, you know, he's really prejudiced and doesn't even bother to get all the facts like they teach you in reading Rainbow and shit like that. <laughs> True. I miss reading Rainbow so damn much. Mm-hmm. I think that thing just farted back there with the way the bubbles <laughs> rose up. <laughs> uh, that's just the underwater for you, Hell Dragon. And uh, what song is this? Part of your world? Indeed. Oh, thank God. You know, they're adding a triangle, though, because God knows you haven't pressed enough triangles in this <laughs> game. I love that. Their idea of diversifying the gameplay, adding the triangle button. Yeah, you know, there's all these buttons on the PS2 controller. Throw them in! Ah! R1? No, just go with Triangle. So, how do you think this version of Part of Your World compared with the original? It sounds pretty good, because obviously Trady Benson re-recorded stuff, but there's a lot more reverberation, and I know it's not because they're under the sea, smart ass. Oh, well, just take away all my good one-liners, huh? I think Square Enix went with your line of thinking of they're underwater and made it a bit more echoey. I guess. And I think for this part, in order to pass it, you have to get enough excellence. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I gotta be Bill and Ted up in here. Excellent! <laughs> You're doing really good, dude! Oh, no, I want that crossover. Uh, I'm not sure how that would work out exactly. Yeah, she's got a lot of shit around in here. Thingamabobs and doodads. I mean, she has shit in here that could kill Flounder 20 times over. Well, the only way I will accept more sing-alongs is... When we go to Hunchback of Notre Dame world, hopefully, we have a sing-along with Hellfire. We're never going to Notre Dame, and you know it, Tom. There's no <laughs> way it's going to happen. <laughs> why, God, why? It's so religiously charged, you know it's not going to happen. They talk about fucking hearts, and Maleficent even, even says hell. Really? Yeah. Witness for yourself all the powers of hell! I think the statue just farted again. <laughs> God damn it, Eric. Oh, he keeps doing it! Stop! 
There's a lady in the room. Jeez. Well, you know humans and their love of beans. <laughs> hey, I like beans too. Can't lie. We're here to help you, you know. We're here to talk and have talkiness. Look who's talking. Ah, you fucking crab. I prefer look who's talking too, to be honest. <laughs> I shouldn't laugh at that because I heard that movie sucked, but that's just me. <laughs> well, I was young. It was a decent way to fill an afternoon. Or was I thinking of baby super geniuses? I don't know. They're different films. Oh, okay. Uh, he hello, magic future person. He he hello. Oh, hello, it's my Jamaican crab for no reason. That crab swims really good for having such big clunky claws. Hmm. Uh, don't they usually just like crawl along the ground? They don't actually like, you know, swim? Hell if I know. So I guess they're throwing together this musical to celebrate how great the ocean is, and it's definitely better than the surface, yes. Fuck yeah, narwhals. Yeah, we got narwhals and, and jellyfish and, and sharks and Tim Curry is also a manta ray, I think. That was great. Shank a guy and ain't afraid of no Asians. Exactly. The sea is so amazing. Definitely not like the surface, which is bad. It's like Fallout. No, don't go there. And space. Pfft, what do I want with a bunch of blackness and stars and pretty exploding suns? And lack of air, you know. That's kind of why I'm afraid of space. Well, if you're in the war or you're in space, you're pretty much fucked either way. Well, of course, unless you have your air, which you should be taking with you if you go underwater or in space, you moron. Well, be sure to take an extra large suitcase, then. I found a magic scroll! Now one of our mages can copy Blur into their spellbook. Nerd. Uh, fuck you. <laughs> Uh-oh, we can't read! Ah! <laughs> we forgot how to do that, damn it! I just have a feeling Sora is at. Sora should be <laughs> in a grave that he's not at yet. I love the fact he kicks you out because you don't know how to read. Or, or uh, you can't participate in the musical unless your drive gauge is at five. Why? What the <laughs> fuck does that have to do with singing? Come on. Well, you need the drive to achieve your goals. No, don't pun your way out of this. They don't have an explanation. Admit it. Okay, Sora is dyslexic. Okay. Okay, now you're just making me look like a jackass. <laughs> that was your goal, wasn't it? That in the notes. Indeed. Ah, well, here's another song which will hopefully be good. Under the Sea, you know, the thing you think of when you think of the Little Mermaid, I hope. Pretty much. Eh, I'm glad they got this song at least in there uh, as opposed to other ones, which we will talk about later. Here's something interactive, either on the YouTube comments when this goes up on YouTube, or in the Hellfire forums. For each Disney film you can think of, put the first song you immediately associate with it. That might be fun. Mm-hmm. Okay, I want to explain something about this game, though. You're trying to convince Ariel to not go up to the surface, and yet, when you fail, she's in the sea, the little bar at the side. But when you succeed, she's up at the surface. So, if you fail, you win? Um, what? I don't know anymore. Uh. Logic hurts my brain. By the way, uh, the new mechanic is that when Sebastian on screen, you cannot press the square button because he is a square. Hey, Joel's not bad. He, he's not bad. He's not good, but he's not bad. You heard Japanese, sir. Have you heard Japanese Donald? <laughs> The Japanese versions of these songs are fucking hilarious, and I really recommend you guys listen to them. They're crazy. So yeah, it's under the sea. You guys know what we're to expect. Mm -hmm. Just make sure you don't miss any, otherwise you're fucked. Or well, otherwise she'll go back down to the sea and you'll win, but you won't win because you failed, and yet you convinced her to stay in the sea. Ah! Uh, no, I think Ariel actually sings some of Sebastian's lines for no reason. Really? Because she puts on a Jamaican accent if you listen carefully. I'm gonna be listening to that because I don't, I don't remember that. I think it's coming up. Really? Wait, yeah. not this one. The next one. That's what you sound like, Sebastian. She's <laughs> mocking you. No, it wasn't that one. It's coming up. Listen. I, I'm listening. Oh, there we go. Yeah, that's what you sound <laughs> like, Sebastian. Ha <laughs> ha. I can just imagine all the disgusting pairings. Ugh. See, this is what I wanted out of the Pride Lands. It's something out of the movie. 